Hi, this video is brought to you by TechDirectArchive.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix error, the request to add or remove features on the specified server field. What you need to do now is to move into the um, to open the server manager. When you open the server manager, you try to add rows. Click next. Click next. When you click next, you will select whatever you want to the rows that you want to add. Just wait patiently. I'm adding the Active Directory domain services, also the DNS server. Just be patient. Click next. I'll also be adding the .NET Framework 3.5. Click next. Next. Then click on Install. And wait for the error to pop out. The error is going to come out now. This usually happens sometimes when you are installing .NET Framework 3.5 features on your server. So can you see the request to add or remove features on the specified server field? So what you just need to do now is to close. When you close, you start all over again. You try to add that same features back. Active Directory Domain Services, that's the role I want to add. And also the DNS server, I'm adding that as well. And I want to buy it to add the .NET Framework 3.5. Don't bother about this. Click on Next. Next. Then specify an alternate path, alternate source path. So, what you need to do is you open where you have the files located. You open the, the DVD drive where you have all the files. Then you locate the source folder. You open that. So you go ahead to open the source folder. Then you see SXS, you also open that, then you copy the directory, then you paste it in the path here, then you click OK, then you continue to install. Then as you've added this, you are not supposed to have any counter or any issue with your installation. You should, uh, you should install successfully without hindrance because now it's seeing the files the .NET Framework 3.5 files, and it will be able to, to go ahead and uh, install it. So just be patient while it is uh, installing. The error message will not pop up again because it's seeing the file. Just be patient, it will soon be done to confirm whether it will actually install or not. Can you see? It has installed successfully. 